that is rapidly gaining worldwide popularity, both for commercial production and small-scale backyard systems. To learn more about home aquaponics, the Malama Lama magazine team visited University of Hawaii aquaponics specialist Clyde Tamaru at his outdoor facility on the grounds of Windward Community College. So aquaponics actually is a merger of two technologies. One is aquaculture, that's the culture of animals in water, and the second is hydroponics, that's the soilless uh, production of plants in, without soil, all in water. Key components of aqua, aquaponics setup is that you need a fish tank for the culturing of the fish. You're going to also need a filter bed, so that's the third place where the conversion of the nitrogenous waste, ammonia, gets converted into nitrates in which the plants can grow. Also, you can use the grow bed to grow plants. Uh, and also, equally important, you have to have a pump in which you're going to move water from the fish bed, fish tank, all the way to the culture, culture media and back again. So those are the three main components of an aquaponics system. Complete aquaponics kits are available through local stores for about $200, but it can cost much less to build a basic setup yourself. Clyde showed us an easy one that has worked for many people in Hawaii. The first step in building a backyard aquaponics system is to measure out the amount of space you'll need. At minimum, you want about 12 square feet in an area that you can walk around and that has plenty of room for the plants to grow upwards. The tank for the fish, in this case a sturdy plastic tub, should sit flat on the ground with the stand for the filter bed partly over it. The pump sits in the tank with the fish and serves two purposes. It carries the water with the nutrient-rich fish waste up to the grow bed and it aerates the water in the tank so the fish can breathe. Put the grow bed on top of the stand and assemble PVC pipe to carry the water from the fish tank to the filter grow bed. A ball valve allows you to adjust the water flow. A simple side spray bar is used to aerate the tank. Insert the stand pipe drain into the grow bed so the top of the pipe is about 3 inches below the top of the tank. You'll need to buy or build what is called a bell siphon to allow the ebb and flow of water in the bed. Constructing the bell siphon might be the most difficult part of the process, but detailed instructions can be found online linked from our website. Under the grow bed, position the drain assembly with two 90-degree elbow fittings in a series connected by a length of straight pipe to empty back into the fish tank. Place a gravel guard around the bell siphon to keep it from becoming clogged. Thoroughly rinse the cinder rock and pour it into the grow bed up to about 2 to 3 inches below the lip of the bed and about 1 inch below the top of the bell siphon. The depth of the grow media should be between 8 and 12 inches for optimal filtration and plant growth. Finally, fill the fish rearing tank with water, add your fish, we use the type of tilapia here, and your grow bed is ready to be planted. Some of the things that people have been planting are, you know, uh, lettuce. Manoa lettuce is like one of the biggies. Uh, very popular. Green onions. You can do things like chili pepper, uh, herbs like ch uh, shiso, uh, Thai basil, sweet basil. Those go all very well in the cinder bed. Actually, both in the cinder bed and the floating earth. Uh, leafy greens do really grow well in the, so like the bok choy, kai choy. Uh, those also do very well. Watercress, uh, hung choy. Just the host of the leafy greens do very exceptionally well in aquaponics. Once you have a filtering gravel grow bed set up, you can expand it to use different types of growing platforms, including these styrofoam floating ones and others made from holes cut in PVC pipe. For more information on aquaponics and the research and community outreach done by Clyde Tamaru and the College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources, visit Malama Lama Magazine online at hawaii.edu magazine.